Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss what is double integration in calculus. So, as with single variable calculus, there are two different types of integration that we are concerned with. One is definite integration, which we're actually giving limits of integration, and the other is indefinite integration. But, more generally, a double integral is when you take a function with more than one variable. In this case, we have y and x. Here we have a, b, x, and y. And then you integrate it iteratively. And we'll see what that means in a second. One helpful way to think about this is to try to break it apart using parentheses or brackets. Like so. So what this is really telling us, if we work from the inside out, is we want to compute this integral, then whatever result we get, we want to plug it into this integral and then compute that. So let's take it step by step. We'll keep the integral that we have on the outside. Then we'll see what this equals. Okay, so we're taking the integral of yx squared with respect to x from 1 to 2. So, it should give us yx cubed over 3 from 1 to 2. And whatever this is, we'll plug it into that integral. So let's compute this. Again, Integral from 0 to 3. And we get 2 cubed is 8. So we get 8y over 3 minus 1 cubed is 1. We just get y over 3. Bring down the dy. And then we can simplify this a little bit. We get the integral from 0 to 3 of 7y over 3 dy. Well, from here, it's simple. This is just a single variable integral. All we need to do is find the antiderivative of this function with respect to y, evaluate it at 3 and 0, and subtract accordingly. Easy enough. Let's take a look at this indefinite integral, which may be a little bit trickier. Here we have four variables in this function, a, b, x, and y. Note that these d's just indicate which variables we will be integrating with respect to. They are not themselves variables. Okay, but we can do essentially the same trick that we had before. Just draw parentheses, make it easier. So we'll compute this integral. Whatever result we get, we'll plug it into the outside integral and then compute that. So we get the integral of whatever this is. Okay, and we'll write dA over here, so that's what we'll work on next. All right, so we can simply use the power rule here. Might look a little cumbersome, but that's essentially all there is to it. Bring down the exponent, which is by. Keep the constant. And then we're going to subtract one from that exponent. By minus one. Awesome. Okay, so now we can simply just get rid of the parentheses. And this time we're integrating with respect to a. Now this may seem like a very messy, hard to read uh, formula here, but it may be helpful if we simply switch the a and the b. And you'll see that since a is the variable we're integrating, all this is just a constant. So this just becomes a squared over 2 times all this. y bx to the by minus 1 plus some constant c. Just add another letter into the mix. And that's essentially all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy. 
and we've just discussed what is double integration in calculus.